Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is sitting inside the new Nissan Row, completely redesigned. And we already like a lot that vehicle back here in Quebec. Why? Because of the price and how spacious that vehicle was. One of the biggest of the bunch. And it was the hot seller for Nissan. It's probably one of the most sold sport utility vehicle in Quebec also. Once again, because it's affordable and people used to like it a lot. So finally a fresh start for it. It's using a new platform. It's not the same as the Altima and the Sentra. Nissan spent a lot of money with that platform. Platform, but hey, they're kind of not giving us the detail of that new platform that we are riding on. But still, it's really interesting to know that this road was tested in the most harsh Canadian weather. You know what I'm talking about? winter so when you look at the exterior i love the new design you've got the front end those lights which is kind of unique but more and more i'm seeing more vehicle with those kind of light still nissan has put a little touch that i really like you've got that famous grill also you've got some chrome addition and look at the line right there on the side once again you've got that floating roof style that i really like from nissan and you've got the bolder gray color for the Ortez vehicle right now, which is kind of looking really unique. So it's more aerodynamic. You can see the rear deflector, also the rear tail light that are Nissan signature, but I love that design. You've got a lot of head that are turning around to see us pass by with that new vehicle. So I think it's a big thumbs up for this style. Do you like it? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. So inside, well, you've got those nice zero gravity seat that I'm really comfortable with. Even if the seat base is kind of short but over a long period of driving i'm not going to be tired you've got a lot of stuff inside but look at that screen look at that cluster nice definition nice graphic except for one though this one is really strange but otherwise you've got also the big central screen with the new multimedia system android auto apple carplay and the model that we are riding now has the complete bose sound system easy access easy to use fast reliable that's what i like and even if you don't have the fully equipped rogue you've got a three different climate control zone and you've got all the things that you need in the rear to control and also easy access to the rear look how wide that door opens i'm thinking about baby seat right now so if you're going to use one inside it's going to be pretty easy to get in there is a more storage than ever right there under the center console you've got a shifter though which is kind of strange and it's making some kind of movement that i don't really like same thing also when i'm going to move those different drive mode though but still finally the abandoned of plastic inside a Nissan Rogue. That's what I like. So dashboard, 12.3 inches. Center screen, 9 inches. Heads up display, 10.8 inches. You've got the wireless Apple CarPlay. Big thumbs up to that. New engine also this year. Well, same 2.5 though. You've got some modification to the power, which is going to be good for 181. An increase of 6%. Same amount of torque, 181. But a little bit less increase at 3% versus the previous version. Where it kind of hurts me is the CVT, that famous x which doesn't have a nice reliability story to it. So I asked Nissan, did you change it completely? Well, they were kind of not telling me exactly what they did to it, except that they repeated that they reduced friction by 29%, increased acceleration and fuel economy. But you've got all those drive mode, five different drive mode, here, standard, eco, sport, off-road, snow. So when you get into those hard elements, this is where it's gonna probably hurt your famous CVT. So I hope they made it stronger over time we're gonna see that how it will evolve you can choose from front wheel drive to all wheel drive and it's that intelligent all wheel drive system and nissan told us that they work on their algorithm to make sure that the front wheel won't slip and power is going to be sent exactly where it's needed so we couldn't test it really with our famous diagonal test or off-road but don't worry about that we're going to put that to the test during the winter fuel efficiency if you go for all wheel drive 9.2 in the city 7.2 two on the highway 8.9 if you use a front wheel drive and seven so it's not the most fuel efficient of the bunch though but it's still acceptable let's talk about driving so i really feel in the regular road when it comes to acceleration though 
but when I talk about comfort, noise level, rigidity, you know you were riding those kind of old rogue and you can hear the plastic bouncing around, all, all that creaking noise, now it's gone. So it's way more rigid than it used to be. Roden Link is better. You've got those new shocks sound inside you can talk you don't hear much even if you got big wind outside even if you're rolling kind of fast with the vehicle you've got better road handling better bike but still that direction is kind of really soft in some kind of way and you've got the cvt which is kind of okay so you don't get those strange vibration movement that you used to have back in the old version so it's even better on the highway you've got those shocks that are gonna absorb the different bomb that you're gonna see so rolling link it, it's not one of the best but it's a big big increase from what it used to be and it's right there with the other competitors you've got the security feature that are amazing with that vehicle inside you've got the 360 degree shield you've got the pro pilot assist and they made some addition this year so it's going to use the gps you're rolling on the highway and your exit is coming soon the computer will tell it to you in the display and it will slow down the car will slow down for you to make sure that you hit that curve at the perfect speed Same same thing if you're rolling on the highway there's a curve ahead depending on what speed you are going that you set your cruise control it will adapt and make sure that you have a better experience so it's a big thumbs up on that the pro pilot system also had some modification to the wait time when you're in traffic last thing i knew it was kind of three seconds or something like that so right now you can be stopped for 30 seconds and it's gonna start rolling and you've got that tolerance that you can adjust with your speed with your cruise control and it's kind of really cool to have all those features in an Nissan row. So plus point, minus point. Well, the minus point, I've got some vibration in the mirror and it's really annoying over time. You've got that shifter sometimes, you've got that drive mode here that you can select and I can see some movement. I wonder how it will hold on over time. I've got some steam also on my seat. I don't know what it is, but I hope it's gonna hold that nice leather edge. Something probably happened with a certain cleaning product though. The display in the dash, some some feature I like, some I don't like, and there's not a lot of major bad point with the road because it's so affordable now. So you've got a great price, you've got a lot of stuff included, even with the roof. If you want that dual panoramic sunroof, you don't have to go with the fully equipped model of road, so it's really accessible. I would have hoped for more acceleration though, more fuel efficiency. I didn't get that, but I'm gonna put hope in the CVT that it's gonna be better than ever. So so otherwise there's not a lot of bad points and there's a lot of good points with that new redesigned model finally you step in inside and it doesn't look like what it was in the past with that omnipresence of plastic that i didn't really like at all so right now i find that really attrayant really good looking so I hope you find the same when you're gonna step inside those rogue. So starting price a little bit more than $28,000 plus fee, transport, blah, 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 for a greatly equipped. If you want to go for all wheel drive, you're gonna have to add $2,300. And if you go on to go for the fully equipped version, it's gonna go through the $40,000 price point. So that's pretty much what a lot of sport utility vehicle costs. So Nissan was selling a lot of those. Well, guess what? They're gonna sell a a lot more with that new redesigned road what do you think about that feel free to comment in the section down there below do a thumbs up because you like and subscribe to car question take care